Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Creative Cloud Evangelist. Uh, so this is a first episode from a series getting started with Edge Reflow. Uh, it's, well, for those of you that don't know what Reflow is, it's a new tool from Adobe that allows you to visually design responsive layouts for responsive web, of course. Uh, okay, so let me do a sort of a, sort of a quick overview of, uh, of a, a tool itself uh, in this first episode. In the second one, uh, we'll do uh, um, an intro how you you can define the layout uh, of your dis, uh, responsive project, uh, then how you make it, um, how, to, how to style, that will be in the third one, in the fourth one, how you make th the layout responsive, and in the fifth one, we'll test it, uh, how this will work, not only in the browser on the desktop, but how this can work, this layout on devices like uh, tablets or smartphones. All right, so quickly, let's open up Reflow. And right now, Reflow is available through Adobe Creative Cloud, so I encourage you to go in, uh, um, apply for the membership with a, your free Adobe ID, and you'll be able to get a preview version of Reflow. Okay, so first of all, uh, on the left-hand side here, we have a layouts um, tab, which allows us to define a layout of our elements of our design. Next, we have a grid options where we can uh, play around with the you know number like number of columns of our grid, and you can see that this grid is actually flexible and fluid. So when I scale it, it actually also changes, uh, adapts to the screen size. Uh, also, we can control if we want to have like outer gutters or no. Then the width of the gutter, and also if you don't want this uh, grid to get in your way visually you can actually change the opacity of it. Well, one more thing really important to mention that the, uh, almost the whole Edge Reflow tool is built with a uh, web standard, so HTML5, JavaScript, and CSS. And the canvas here, it's actually a WebKit rendering engine. So what you see here is what you will get in the HTML preview. All right, the next thing, the next tab is styling tab, and it has a couple of options. Uh, it uh, changes when you select different elements of different types, and those types are basically a diff element that you can define uh, on the stage here. You have also a text element that you can put some text in it. You can also load some images and so on. And the images could be any web, you know, uh, web web images like uh, SVGs, PNGs, JPEGs, and so on. Um, all right. So next one, you can define different breakpoints for different screen resolutions. So I I'll uh, scrap this uh, scroller here. I can change and add new uh, breakpoints of the media queries. So you can see I just defined two media queries. Uh, next one is actually an uh, Edge Inspect tool. This is a tool that we'll use to uh, test our design on the devices. Next we have um, a panel with all the loaded assets. And in this case, I don't have any uh, media assets loaded into my uh, project, so it's empty, but later on you will see uh, there will be more. Uh, and then we have also this feedback form where we can submit some feedback. Next, we have a zoom in, zoom out and um, options. And then there is this really important part to remember. You can uh, like, you know, set their different alignments of the elements on stage using this, uh, this technique here. Also, if you want to like change the size of certain elements to match and so on. So you, you see uh, you have quite a lot of uh, nice capabilities here. And the last thing here I want to show you is, um, well, let me select maybe this element. You can see we have a breadcrumbs, which is a, a DOM structure uh, of our uh, project here. And also if I uh, pop up this elements panel, I can see the whole DOM structure in a sort of a tree where I can either like double clicking, changing and add some name to my elements, but also I can play around with the uh, with the Z index of, uh, of my elements on my stage as well. All right. So uh, so that was uh, that was quick uh, sneak peek into Reflow. Now I want to quickly show you uh, the the content that we'll be working on through this course. Uh, so this is actually the complete solution that we're aiming for. And it is, of course, it has multiple media queries defined. So this is, of course, responsive right now. And you can see that when I scale down, it changes also. I can preview that in the browser and there we go it should open up right away here oh there we go we have it so i can 
uh, also play around with uh, with the media queries and test it here. Uh, of, of course, uh, yeah, um, th this is a complete project and uh, you can download um, the whole project with together with the workbook that you can go step by step uh, also while listening to the video tutorials and this workbook can be downloaded from the link uh, over here. Okay, so thank you very much. This was a quick intro into Reflow. Stay tuned for next episode where we'll go very deep uh, into, into the tool. Thank you and bye.